To illustrate this technology, this is a properly expressed protein with our exposed tagging fragment. That is the smaller 16 amino acid uh, tag that doesn't interfere with structure, conformation, or function as whole GFP or other tags. The tag protein self-assembles with the heavier detection fragment. This is a larger 27 KDA fragment that binds only the small fragment in a very specific and irreversible manner, resulting in a fluorescent GFP fusion protein. It's important to note that neither fragment can fluoresce alone, but only when bound to each other, and therefore there are no false positives caused by nonspecific signaling. As you're well aware, determining the level of expression, correct conformation, and solubility or aggregation of proteins is essential in drug discovery and development. This assay can provide structural information as a misfolded, aggregated, or insoluble protein will not bind the detection fragment and as a result will not generate a signal. An additional advantage to this technology is that it can circumvent the steric limitations of antibodies with the relatively small size of the tagging and detection fragments. The tagging fragment at a one-to-one -one molar ratio to ligand does not interfere with the activity and allows for kinetic and functional assay. Fragment complementation occurs within minutes and the interaction saturates in a matter of hours. The tag offers the same advantages as radiometric assay without the hazards and can be used on standard fluorescent analysis equipment used for either direct or immunofluorescent assay. The 110 detection reagent is an engineered fragment of GFP that's also available in green, cyan, and yellow that specifically and irreversibly binds the tagging fragment on the protein or peptide of interest. This is very specific binding and eliminates the need for antibody or optimer detection. Because the system only fluoresces when it self-assembles to the tagging fragment, there is no nonspecific signaling, as is the case with antibodies. Further, there's little or no need for washing, while blocking and incubation steps are typically not required. The entire fluorescent protein complex is only 27 kDa, which is roughly five and a half times smaller than IgG. This, of course, allows for more effective entry into permeabilized cells and bind target proteins and peptides within a cell. And since the split detection system does not fluoresce unless both fragments have self-assembled, no extra washing is necessary. Samples can be analyzed soon after staining. So I'd like to thank you for, for joining me today, and please feel free to visit us on the Internet at www.sandiabio.com or contact us directly by mail at info at sandiabio.com or by telephone at 1-866-342-0224. Thank you.